Good morning and welcome to the devotional for Our Saviour Lutheran Church on Friday the 24th of May. We'll be following the order of Matins and the details can be found here in the corner of the screen. The whole order of service will be displayed on your screen throughout as part of the video. You can also find it displayed next to the video on the church website with links below for the Psalms and the hymn. On YouTube, you can download a copy of the Order of Service from a link in the description of the video. There are links also there for the Psalms and the hymn. To open up the description of the video, click on the word more just below the page. If you're using the Lutheran Service Book or the Treasury of Daily Prayer at these page numbers, please note that the Venite, the Invitatory Psalm, will be sung in its entirety, including verses not included in those Orders of Service. You can find the whole Psalm uh, displayed on your screen in the online orders of service, or by turning to Psalm 95, 95 in the front of the hymnal on the back of the Treasury of Daily Prayer. The responsory after the readings is a seasonal responsory for the Octave of Pentecost, uh, which again is displayed on your screen as part of the online orders of service. Uh, it's not included in the Lutheran Service Book, uh, but you can find it in the Treasury of Daily Prayer on page 066. 066, that's one of the grey edge pages in the centre of the book. And the canticle is the today. O oh Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. Make haste, O God, to deliver me. Make haste to help me, O Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be for ever. Amen. Praise to you, O Christ. Alleluia. The Spirit of the Lord fills the world. Alleluia. O come, let us worship him. O oh, come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Let us make a joyful noise to him with songs of praise. For the Lord is a great God, and a great King above all gods. The deep places of the earth are in his hand. The strength of the hills is his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hand formed the dry land. O oh, come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Today, if you hear his voice, do not harden your hearts, as at Meribah, as on the day at Massa in the wilderness, when your fathers put me to the test, and put me to the proof, though they had seen my word. For forty years I loathed that generation, and said, They are a people who go astray in their heart, and they have not known my ways. Therefore I swore in my wrath, they shall not enter my rest. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be for ever. Amen. The Spirit of the Lord fills the world. Alleluia. O oh, come, let us worship him. Praise is due to you, O God, in Zion, and to you shall vows be performed. O oh, you who hears prayer, to you shall all flesh come. When iniquities prevail against me, you atone for our transgressions. Blessed is the one you choose and bring near to dwell in your courts. We shall be satisfied with the goodness of your house, the holiness of your temple. By awesome deeds you answer us with righteousness, O God of our salvation. 
the hope of all the ends of the earth and of the farthest sea, the one who by his strength established the mountains, being girded with might, who stills the roaring of the seas, the roaring of their waves, the tumult of the peoples, so that those who dwell at the ends of the earth are in awe at your signs. You make the going out of the morning and the evening to shout for joy. You visit the earth and water it, you greatly enrich it. The river of God is full of water. You provide their grain for so you have prepared it. You water its furrows abundantly, settling its ridges, softening it with showers and blessing its growth. You crown the year with your bounty. Your wagon tracks overflow with abundance. The pastures of the wilderness overflow. The hills gird themselves with joy. The meadows clothe themselves with flocks, the valleys deck themselves with grain. They shout and sing together for joy. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Shout for joy to God all the earth. Sing the glory of his name, give to him glorious praise. Say to God how awesome are your deeds. So great is your power that your enemies come cringing to you. All the earth worships you and sings praises to you. They sing praises to your name. Come and see what God has done. He is awesome in his deeds towards the children of man. He turned the sea into dry land. They passed through the river on foot. There did we rejoice in him who rules by his might forever, whose eyes keep watch on the nations. Let not the rebellious exalt themselves. Bless our God, O peoples. Let the sound of his praise be heard, who has kept our soul among the living, and has not let our feet slip. For you, O God, have tested us. You have tried us as silver is tried. You brought us into the net. You laid a crushing burden on our back. You let men ride over our heads. We went through fire and through water, yet you have brought us out to a place of abundance. I will come into your house with burnt offerings. I will perform my vows to you, that which my lips uttered, and my mouth promised when I was in trouble. I will offer to you burnt offerings of fattened animals with the smoke of the sacrifice of rams. I will make an offering of wolves and goats. Come and hear all you who fear God. And I will tell what he has done for my soul. I cried to him with my mouth. And high praise was on my tongue. If I had cherished iniquity in my heart. The Lord would not have listened, but truly God has listened. He has attended to the voice of my prayer. Blessed be God, because he has not rejected my prayer or removed his steadfast love from me. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning is now and will be forever. Amen. May God be gracious to us and bless us, and make his face to shine upon us, 
that your way may be known on earth, your saving power among all nations. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Let the nations be glad and sing for joy. For you judge the peoples with equity and guide the nations upon earth. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. The earth has yielded its increase. God our God shall bless us. God shall bless us. Let all the ends of the earth fear him. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Come, thou bright and morning star, light of light without beginning, shine upon us from afar, that we may be kept from sinning. Drive away by thy clear light our dark night. Let thy grace like morning dew falling soft on barren places comfort quickened and renew our dry souls and dying graces bless thy flock from thy rich store evermore may thy fervent love destroy our cold works in us awaking ardent zeal and holy joy at the purple morn's first breaking, let us truly rise ere yet life has set. Ah, thou day spring from on high, grant that at thy next appearing, we who in the graves do lie, May arise thy psalms hearing, and rejoice in our new life, far from strife. Light us to those heavenly spheres, Son of grace, thine glory shrouded. Let us through this veil of tears, to the land where days unclouded, purest joy and perfect peace never cease. A reading from Numbers chapter 27, beginning to read at the 12th verse. The Lord said to Moses, <coughs> Go up into this mountain of Abarim, and see the land that I have given to the people of Israel. When you have seen it, you also shall be gathered to your people as your brother Aaron was, because you rebelled against my word in the wilderness of Zin, when the congregation quarrelled, failing to uphold me as holy at the waters before their eyes. These are the waters of Meribah of Kadesh in the wilderness of Zin. Moses spoke to the Lord, saying, Let the Lord, the God of the spirits of all flesh, appoint a man over the congregation who shall go out before them, and come in before them, who shall lead them out and bring them in, that the congregation of the Lord may not be a sheep that have no shepherd. So the Lord said to Moses, Take Joshua the son of Nun, a man in whom is the Spirit, and lay your hand on him. Make him stand before Eleazar the priest and all the congregation, and you shall commission him in their sight. You shall invest him with some of your authority, that all the congregation of the people of Israel may obey. And he shall stand before Eleazar the priest, who shall inquire for him by the judgment of the Urim before the Lord. At his word they shall go out, and at his word they shall come in, both he and all the people of Israel with him, the whole congregation. And Moses did as, as the Lord commanded him. He took Joshua and made him stand before Eleazar the priest and the whole congregation. And he laid his hand on him and commissioned him, as the Lord had directed through Moses.
O Lord, have mercy on us. Thanks be to God. As they led Jesus away, they seized one Simon of Cyrene, who was coming in from the country, and laid on him the cross to carry it behind Jesus. And there followed him a great multitude of the people and of women who were mourning and lamenting for him. But turning to them, Jesus said, Daughters of Jerusalem, do not weep for me, but weep for yourselves and for your children. For behold, the days are coming when they will say, Blessed are the barren and the wombs that never bore and the breast that never nursed. Then they will begin to say to the mountains, Fall on us, and to the hills, Cover us. For if they do these things when the wood is green, what will happen when it is dry? Two others who were criminals were led away to be put to death with him. And when they came to the place that is called the skull, there they crucified him and the criminals, one on his right and one on his left. And Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. And they cast lots to divide his garments. And the people stood by watching, but the rulers scoffed at him, saying, He saved others, let him save himself, if he is the Christ of God, his chosen one. The soldiers also mocked him, coming up and offering him sour wine and saying, If you are the king of the Jews, save yourself. There was also an inscription over him, This is the king of the Jews. One of the criminals who were hanged railed at him, saying, Are you not the Christ? Save yourself and us. But the others, other rebuked him, saying, Do you not fear God, since you are under the same sentence of condemnation? And we indeed justly, for we are receiving the due reward of our deeds. But this man has done nothing wrong. And he said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. And he said to him, Truly I say to you, today you will be with me in paradise. It was now about the sixth hour, and there was darkness over the whole land until the ninth hour, while the sun's light failed, and the curtain of the temple was torn in two. Then Jesus, calling out with a loud voice, said, Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. And having said this, he breathed his last. And when the centurion saw what had taken place, he praised God, saying, Certainly this man was innocent. And all the crowds that had assembled for this spectacle, when they saw what had taken place, returned home, beating their breasts. And all his acquaintances and the women who had followed him from Galilee stood at a distance, watching these things. Now there was a man named Joseph, from the Jewish town of Arimathea. He was a member of the council, a good and righteous man, who had not consented to their decision and action. And he was looking for the kingdom of God. This man went to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. Then he took it down and wrapped it in a linen shroud, and laid him in a tomb cut in stone, where no one had yet ever had ever yet been laid. It was the day of preparation, and the Sabbath was beginning. The women who had come with him from Galilee followed and saw the tomb, and how his body was laid. Then they returned and prepared spices and ointments. On the Sabbath day, they rested according to the commandment. O Lord, have mercy on us. Thanks be to God. Divided tongues as of fire appeared to them, and the Holy Spirit rested on each one of them. Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sins. And you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Alleluia, alleluia. They were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sins. And you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Alleluia, alleluia. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sins. And you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Alleluia, alleluia. A reading from a year with the Church Fathers by Dr. Scott Murray. 
Martin Luther recommends that we make the sign of the cross as part of our daily devotions in the small catechism. What's the point of making this sign? Is it just the Christian swoosh, a meaning as meaningless as the symbol on Nike shoes? No, it is the sign by which the demons are put to flight, and we are set in the baptismal faith that was signed upon us at the font of our new life. The cross is not a mere symbol, but the sign and seal of our changed relationship with our Heavenly Father. It testifies to the blood of the eternal Son of God, which was poured out upon it, uh, upon it for us poor sinners. It should be set before our eyes, not just at Lent, but also at every season of the church year. For as <coughs> in a, a one comedian put it, for Lutherans, every Sunday is Good Friday. This is a charge to which we will gladly be guilty. The cross is the sign of our life. Though on it, death was stretched. We revel in his bloodstained reality because it brings a real salvation. Those who deny its reality and reduce it to a swoosh of faith deprive themselves of the mercy that was earned upon it. Let us turn from this unbelief. Cyril of Jerusalem writes, The cross is the sign of the faithful and the dread of demons. For you put them to open shame, triumphing o uh, by triumphing over them. When they see the cross, they are reminded of the crucified. They are afraid of him who broke the heads of the sea monsters. Despite not this seal, because of the freeness of the gift, rather honour your benefactor for it. If anyone says that the cross is an illusion, turn away from him. Reject those who say that Christ was crucified according to an illusion only. For if so, and if salvation is from the cross, then salvation is an illusion also. If the cross is an illusion, the resurrection is an illusion also. But if Christ has not been raised, your faith is futile. If the cross is an illusion, the ascension also is an illusion. If the ascension is an illusion, then the second coming is also an illusion, and everything from now on is without substance. Take therefore first as an indestructible foundation, the cross, and build upon it the other articles of the faith. Do not deny the crucified. We praise you, O God. We acknowledge you to be the Lord. All the earth now worships you, the Father everlasting. To you, all angels, cry aloud. The heavens and all the powers therein. To you, cherubim and seraphim, continually do cry. Holy, 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 Lord God of Sabaoth, heaven and earth are full of the majesty of your glory. The glorious company of the apostles praise you. The goodly fellowship of the prophets praise you. The noble army of martyrs praise you. The Holy Church throughout all the world does acknowledge you. The Father of an infinite majesty, your adorable true and only Son. Also the Holy Ghost, the Comforter. You are the King of glory, O Christ. You are the everlasting Son of the Father. When you took upon yourself to deliver man, you humbled yourself to be born of a virgin. When you had overcome the sharpness of death, we opened the kingdom of heaven to all believers. You sit at the right hand of God in the glory of the Father. We believe that you will come to be our judge. We therefore pray you to help your servant, whom you have redeemed with your precious blood. Make them to be numbered with your saints, in glory everlasting. O Lord, save your people and bless your heritage. Govern them and lift them up forever. Day by day we magnify you 
and ye we worship your name for ever and ever. Grant, O Lord, to keep us this day without sin. O Lord, have mercy upon us, have mercy upon us. O Lord, let your mercy be upon us as our trust is in you. O Lord, in you have I trusted. Let me never be confounded. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. O Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come to you. Almighty and ever-living God, you fulfilled your promise by sending the gift of the Holy Spirit to unite disciples of all nations in the cross and resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ. By the preaching of the Gospel, spread this gift to the end of the earth. Through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you reign among us by the preaching of your cross. Forgive your people their offences that we, being governed by your bountiful goodness, may enter at last into your eternal paradise. For your holy name's sake. Amen. O Lord our God, you sent your Holy Spirit to abide with the Church forever. Renew the same Spirit within us, that our hearts may be cleansed from evil things, and the fruits of love and goodness may abound in our lives. To the glory of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, our Saviour, we approach you this morning hour, beseeching you to let your grace and mercy go with us through, through the day. Let your presence give us the blessed assurance of your divine protection amid dangers, guidance amid its uncertainty and strength against temptations. Bless the labours of our hands. Bless our homes with your continued presence. Bless our nation and let, the righteous, and let righteousness and peace prevail. Bless your church. Keep her in your word and truth. Bless our schools and grant that boys and girls may grow in grace and knowledge of you and of your will. Remember not the sins of our youth, nor our many trespasses. Bring us safely home tonight and keep us steadfast in faith. Comfort those for whom this day brings suffering. Give them hope in the knowledge that Christ has nailed death to the cross. Through the same Jesus Christ, our Redeemer. Amen. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, almighty and everlasting God, you have safely brought us to the beginning of this day. Defend us in the same with your mighty power, and grant that this day we fall into no sin, neither run into any kind of danger, but that all our doings being ordered by your governance may be righteous in your sight. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with us all. Amen.